and pro-democracy protesters. In a pre-dawn raid Saturday, mass police officers broke into the home of Abdulladi al a prominent Bahraini human rights activist. al and other family members were beaten and detained. They remain in police custody in an unknown location. Human Rights Watch has condemned his arrest and called for his immediate release. His daughter, Zeneb al has written a letter asking President Obama to stop supporting the government in Bahrain and asking for American assistance in locating her father and other family members. Her husband, Wafi Ahmadjid, and brother-in-law, Hussein Ahmed, were also picked up the same night. Zeneb has tried to determine where they are, but has found no answers. On Monday, she started a hunger strike in protest. She'll eat only once all her family members have been released. She's joining us now from Anama, Bahrain. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Zeneb. Describe what happened on Saturday. Um, hello, Amy. Um, what happened on Saturday is that uh, security forces attacked my home. Um, they came in without prior warning. They broke down the, the building door and they broke down our apartment door and straight away attacked my father without giving him a chance to speak and without giving any reason for his arrest. Um, they dragged my father down the stairs and um, started beating him in front of me. Uh, they beat him until he was unconscious. The last thing I heard my father say was that he couldn't breathe. Um, when I tried to intervene, when I tried to tell them, I told them, please stop beating him. We will go with you voluntarily. We don't need to beat him this way. Uh, they told me to, to shut up, basically, and they, they grabbed me from my clothes and dragged me up the stairs back into the apartment. Um, by the time I had gotten out of the room again, there was, the only trace of my father was his blood um, on the stairs where he was dragged on. Why are they going after him, Zeneb? Um, they came after my father because he's a human rights activist and because he has been uh, speaking out against the crimes of our regime and speaking out, out against dictatorship and calling for democracy. My father has, uh, has actually even spoken about the king of Bahrain and said that the king of Bahrain is responsible for, for crimes and that he, ha he is um, responsible for detention, for torture, for killing, for corruption, and that he should be on a fair trial. He shouldn't be ruling our country. And I think that's the reason that, uh, that they have come and taken my father and attacked him in this way, because in a country like ours, um, in a dictatorship like this, it's a crime to speak for, for basic rights and to speak for democracy. They expect us to all stay silent and um, not say anything against the dictator here. And, Zaneb, what happened to your husband, to Wafi Ahmadjad, as well as to your brother-in-law, Hussein Ahmed? Well, what happened is that uh, they were with us there at home when they attacked, and uh, I know that they have come for my father, not for them, because they kept referring to my father as uh, the target. And at first, they did not even know who my husband and my brother-in-law were. They asked them for identification and for their names, and that's when they found out who they were, and then evidently just decided to, uh, to arrest them as well. Because in this country, there are no, no laws, and there is no, uh, there is no human rights, basically. They, they can just decide who they want to take and who they want to leave and how long they want to detain them and how much information they want to give their families. You have written, written a letter to President Obama. Uh, Bahrain is mm -hmm. extremely close to the United States. Uh, it is the home to the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet. What is your message to the President of the United States? My message to Obama is basically that uh, he has to, to choose. He has to choose if his, if his administration is really um, with human rights, democracy, and freedom, as he claims, and with change towards democracy, or is he um, more concerned about supporting his, uh, his friends who are dictators in the Middle East? Um, the American administration has always been speaking about human rights and freedom and democracy, but their action in Bahrain proves otherwise. It proves that, uh, that they care more about their relations with, with the dictator here and that they're willing to support him even when he is um, oppressing and, um, and killing and detaining and torturing pro-democracy protesters. And that's why I wrote the letter to, to Obama specifically to, to ask that question and to, and to share with him what kind of injustice we're living under and to, to tell him that um, if, they are, if they are supporting this regime, then they are also responsible for what is happening and, uh, and for the human rights abuses that are happening in my country.